Welcome back, I'm Cynic Placebo, and I wanted to show off a game that I picked up during the Steam Autumn Sale, which is Fantastic Contraption. It's uh, 1 and 2, it was on sale, I think it was 5 bucks after all was said and done. And this was an old Flash game, but it was an excellent game. I loved it so much that I wanted to pick it up for the PC so that I could have it forever. So this pink wheel is important, you'll win by getting it to the goal. So basically you just have to get this here, but you have to do it by building a machine. Uh, the blue sk square is where you start and where you can build your thing. So everything you build has to fit inside of this, has to be able to pick up this ball and push it over to here. Not necessarily pick it up, but you have to get the ball there somehow, okay? All right, let's get started with the wheel tool. So if we just grab this and we put it here, and then we get a watery rod, okay? <laughs> I don't know why they want me to connect it, but that's fine. Uh, draw from the middle of one wheel to the other, so we'll just drag it over there. And now you can hit start to run the simulation, basically. And it'll just push it along, shows you a simple way to do it. Alright, so that's the tutorial level. And let's continue. Now you don't have to get it right the first time, let's teach you how to refine a design. It looks like this is a promising design, so let's hit start to test it out. So, you'll notice though that it just kind of collapses and dies, right? So we hit stop. And we're going to see if we can fix it. Alright, so the select the delete tool, and let's chop out one of these. Select the water tool, now draw from the middle of the tool to the other. Oh, it's because it was connected to here, right? So if it's connected on the edge, it kind of, it walks differently. The axis isn't connected to the center of the wheel. So now if we try again, you see it's still kind of, it's weird because it's connected to these, uh, the ends right there, rather than the middle, right? So we'll delete again delete this guy, do it again, and we'll just select it to the middle. Now the reason you would use the watery one is it can, that way it can kind of uh, collapse a little bit I guess? I don't know. I'm not sure why you would use the water one instead of the stick one. Alright, so we got wheels that spin either direction. Uh, this wheel won't spin unless you push it, so this one just, you know, it's a, a neutral gear basically. And then the water rods can flow right past wheels and other rods. Ah, so if you need to cross things, you want to use the water rod. But they will bump into wheels, so wood rods will bump into wheels and rods that they aren't attached to. So if you want interference with other things, then the wooden ones will work. Okay. Use the move tool to drag joints uh, to a separate spot. And the delete tool to get rid of pieces you don't want. Alright, so let's figure out... Oh, and we can zoom in or out. Always nice. And you can save your design if you want to show it off later. Okay. If a level's too hard, don't despair. Hit this button, go back, and try a different one. Okay. That's the end of the tutorial. Have fun. So, let's just hit start. It looks like they've already got one set up for us, right? So that's not going to work, because that's just going to go off the end, right? But we also don't need any of this stuff, right? If we just connected something like this, and we hit start, it would push it to the goal. Which, this one's a pretty simple one. But once you get to uh, bigger places, it gets more complicated, right? So this one, if you hit start, you're going to notice that the hill is going to pull it away, right? Let's zoom out a little bit, huh? So it's going to try to force it out of the way. So if you, for example, if you just put one wheel here, like that, and then you connected it like this, whoops, let's move that guy. If you connect it like this, okay, let's just delete it because it's not working right. Let's use a water one, huh? There we go. So if we connect that, and if we hit start, you'll see that, oh, it's struggling to pull it over the hill, right? So, you have to either give it more horsepower, or you gotta do something different like, you know, give it a back wheel, right? So if we do the exact same thing, this time, it should just pick it up and carry it right over the goal. So this is one of those games where I think it's, uh, it's excellent to let kids play this game because it forces their brains to work in really clever ways and just creatively solve things. Ah, uh, yeah, they like the triangles. Yep, I know. So, this one, for example, you'll notice that the gold no longer is on the ground. You can't just shove it over there. You have to literally carry this thing to the top. And it's not round. It's not going to roll. You have to pick it up. All right. So, one last note. Triangles, triangles, triangles. Got it. Yep. But I don't really want this here because that's not going to help us any. So instead, we want to put, you know, a couple wheels right here. And then, you know, just a triangle like it said. And that should let us just carry it straight over to the goal. 
again, it's been years since I played this game. I played this when it was new, because uh, actually my boss uh, at the time, he said, hey, if you guys want to play this game for like an hour a day, I support it because you're programmers. This will help you think in interesting ways and be creative. It was it was a lot of fun, actually. And so we would compete and we would submit designs uh, that we had done to show each other, you know, cool ways that we had thought to do something. So one of the things we could do, I could try to build something that's going to climb over this gap, right? Uh, but the other thing you could try to do is just build a platform that's going to fall onto the gap itself, right? So if we did something like, you know, I don't know, I don't know if I can get one that's long enough, but we could try to build something that would uh, manage to bridge the gap itself, right? So if we just hit start, let's see what happens, right? That one's going to fall more or less in the hole, but it might give us a little bit of a platform so that we can not have to climb as far, right? So now if we do, you know, something like this, and then maybe let's put another wheel toward the front here to help it climb a little bit. I don't know if this is gonna work, but you know, let's, let's see what happens, right? It'll help it kind of climb to get over there, right? Hey, worked. And these get progressively harder. So, I mean, there's there are levels later on where it's not a, like the ball will be out here. You have to go get the ball. Your machine has to pick up the ball and you have to bring it back. You can't just attach to it because it's not in the build area. Whereas this one, this was mostly going to be about climbing, it looks like, right? So if we just try to, you know, make something that can manage to climb, like, you know, I don't know if that'll work, but let's give it a try. Let's just do a basic... A basic tank, you know? Oh, those all fell. Okay. So it doesn't have the traction it needs. Alright, so what we can do though, let's do this. Let's connect some of these to make like uh, almost like tractor. Oh, well, that's not gonna work. Okay, so let's delete that one. Uh, so, so almost like, you know, little teeth, little climbing teeth, right? Let's actually, let's put, put a little floppy guy right there. Let's see what happens, right? Maybe that floppy guy will serve as a tooth every now and again, right? He'll swing down and catch stuff. So you can see there's a little bit more teeth. There's a little more tread. I could have added more, but it looks like this is going to be sufficient to get to the end. Excellent. I just, I love this game. It's so creative. It's so fun. So another thing you can do is instead of trying to climb over everything, you could try to move them, right? You could try to literally bulldoze them, or you could try to burrow under them is another way to go. This one, since there's a gap, let's go for, like, shoving it, right? So if we just go, you know, for horsepower, we're going to just say, hey, we got, you know, all the horsepower, and you are going to let us through, right? So we connect these guys. Oops, that didn't work. Let's delete those. Whoops, deleted the wheel. I'm so glad that this game is available on PC. It was a Flash game, but it is totally worth uh, still playing. And so I'm glad that I have access to play it, you know, in a way that's on a modern PC that I don't have to rely on Flash just being there for me. All right, and then, well, let's just see if we can just shove through it without a specific, like, a bulldozer um, front. So it doesn't really look like it, so I think it might be better if we had some sort of bulldozer front. So let's try let's try something a little weird. Let's uh let's just put some like teeth on the front here and see what happens. Oh, okay, I'm too close to the edge there, so I can't do it, but I guess I I think we can do here. No. Nope. Maybe if I move this guy up a little bit. There we go. Oh, you I didn't realize you could move that initial ball. Okay. Well, that makes things a little bit different. Now you can move around this red ball, I didn't realize. So now if we do that, just with some teeth on it, you're gonna see it's got so much more climbing power, right? So it bulldozed and it climbed. Now, this is where things start to get interesting. Oh, I thought this was gonna be a hole. This one isn't a hole, so it's not quite as interesting. But it's, it's not that hard actually, since we can do this, right? So we can effectively make, you know, just like, you could try to make like a tricycle, right? But the problem is that once it falls off of here, it's going to tip forward with inertia. So let's let's show that first, right? So if this tips forward, oh, let's move him up a little bit. Okay, so if this tips forward, what'll happen is it'll 
it, the triangle will land on its face and it won't roll anymore, right? So as this goes forward, oh, I didn't realize that ball could move. Well, that changes things. But see, as it tips forward, see, now it's going to land that way and it's not going to go where we need to. It's not going to be carrying it, right? But that's a simple enough fix because you can just add a third wheel to the to the triangle, right? So that as it tips forward, it's going to catch itself and continue to roll up. Now, we could have also tried to roll the other way and roll this ball, the big ball, back, right? We could have tried to make our stuff walk that way and slowly push the ball toward it, which would have been fun too. Uh, this one, sometimes you'll have barriers that'll come way down, and so you have to like take something like this, you'll have to flip it down, slide it under, and then flip it back and get into the goal. So there's all sorts of things. It's super creative. I highly recommend this game. Let's see if we can go to the menu. So there's, you can see that there's a bunch of levels here. This is just Fantastic Contraptions number one, but for $4.99 on Steam right now during the autumn sale, you get Fantastic Contraptions one and Fantastic Contraptions two. So I highly recommend getting this game. It's oodles of fun. And if you've got a kid that's mechanically minded, this is an excellent outlet for that. And it's educational. It'll help them actually learn to build complex machines. It's a life skill. So I can't recommend this one enough. Go out and grab Fantastic Contraptions, but if you don't, go check out the Steam sale because during the autumn sale you can find some sweet, sweet deals. If you don't know what to do, check out this video right here because this video will tell you how to get the absolute best deals on the Steam autumn sale. So go check it out. And until next time, I've been Sonic Placebo. Thank you for joining me. Cheers.